Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend, or I'll hit you in the face with a brick. What? I can't. I can't say that. Today is Wednesday. It's December the seventh, two thousand and eleven. Uh, we're looking at XLF today, and I, I don't have another stock alert. For, I mean, uh, ETF uh, alert for you today, even though I do that on Wednesdays. I don't because I don't see an opportunity out there, um, you know, long or short. And I just I, I like to sit back and wait to see what kind of news comes out of Europe before I try to trade the trend because the trend could change dramatically, uh, depending on the news that comes out. And I couldn't tell you right now what it's going to be. I couldn't tell you whether it's going to be bullish or bearish news. I don't know. Um, basically, what I do is deductive reasoning. There's just not enough information out there for me to conclude one way or the other what kind of news to ex actually expect. So, what I did today was protected myself, and it's what I recommend you do. Um, I closed out my GLW position, a 49% gain. If you want to know the next time I enter or exit uh, a position in my portfolio, um, as soon as it happens, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. For those of you who are looking at XLF, maybe you're considering buying or whatnot, uh, let me show you what we got. Last Wednesday, we told you I'd be a buyer on XLF, she had more room to move to the upside. Uh, now I'm really cautious moving ahead uh, because of what's coming out of Europe on Friday, so I would at minimum advance my stop loss limit. And I'm going to warn you ahead of time, if that news is really bad, your stop loss limit is going to get jumped. Basically, you, you could see a major gap down, uh, something of that nature, and, and your stop really wouldn't help you that much. So a couple of different strategies you know, traders may employ out there. A, you may just exit with a uh, gain and walk away and wait. Uh, B, you could, you know, take a little off the table, so lock in a gain. Or you could try to advance your stop loss limit. But again, I warn, if that news at, out of Europe is negative, uh, the market will uh, reverse lower uh, pretty quick, I would imagine, okay? It doesn't have to, but that's what I expect. So anyway, that's where I'd advance your stop to if you're... You know, out there, and you, you just got to hold on to it. Then that, that's what you want to do: is advance the stop and hope it doesn't get jumped. You'll also notice the Williams percent R is above the negative twenty line, uh, getting up there in the overbought territory. Doesn't have to stop and turn around as soon as it hits that, but it is important to note that it is up there, and you should be, regardless, advancing your stop. For those of you who agree with today's analysis, please give us a thumbs up on this video, and I will see you all manana. God bless. Take care. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.